Miasma Morbid here with a box opening. That's what we call it in the BJD fandom, so I guess I'll call it that too here. Um, so about six-ish years ago, I officially joined the fur fandom with a fursona. Like, my heart was into it, I loved the art, I just wanted to be a part of this fandom. So I officially came out to being a furry? At, you know, whatever. I'm a furry. Yeah. Um, but there have been two artists and fursuit makers that I have aspired to be like, and also had a dream to own anything, absolutely anything from. Beetle Cat, Clockwork Creature, or Carzel. Um, so last year I got lucky and Beetle Cat was selling off a little bit of her stock and she had a gray tabby set. I have a gray tabby at home, so I thought it would be really awesome to like kind of have my own little gray tab, whatever. So I got a Beetle Cat Creations um, tail and ear set. And then just a little while ago on Fur Buy, I got extremely lucky and someone was selling off their Clockwork Creature Red Panda set. And I made a character, exacto knife, sorry. I made a character exactly for that set. Her name, name is Anavern Morbid, which is Nirvana spelled backwards, one of my favorite bands. And I have been waiting for this box for what feels like a freaking eternity. Um, it has been so stressful. So it was shipping from France, and the seller has been nothing but the sweetest, kindest, most understanding person ever. Transaction went so beautifully smooth. They had it on fur buy. There was no auto buy, so I emailed them, and I'm like, hey, this is the price I'm willing to pay, so if it doesn't sell, would you possibly sell it to me? And they were just like, you know what? I'll close down the auction. You can have it for that price. So freaking awesome. Um, so shipping from France, I always, I, I don't, I don't know. It's just so nerve wracking with any international shipping, like what's customs going to do? Are they going to hold it? Are they going to send it back? Are they going to keep it because they don't like what you're receiving? It's kind of a hit or miss type of a game. And then, um, from customs. So I went from France to New York, um, through the France ship. I can't pronounce, starts with the C. I can't really pronounce the name. I don't speak French. Um, but then from New York, it goes through USPS, and I've had the worst experience with US Postal Service every single time I get a package. Um, I ordered a Intuos 4, like, the week it came out, US Postal Service lost it, and they didn't do anything about it. So I was out about 500-something bucks, and I never got my tablet. So being a little, I was, like, 13 or 14 at that time. Saved up every penny I had from every birthday, every Christmas, you name it, I saved it. Most heartbreaking experience. So ever since then, I've never trusted USPS. So when this went to USPS, naturally, I was freaking the F out. And with good reason. So it left New York three different times, came to Denver, came to Aurora in Denver, which is this huge town that I live in. And then um, two days ago, it said out for departure, and then it said arrived at unit yesterday morning. So I jumped out of bed. Oh my god, it's here. Doorbell rang, ran downstairs. It was the Jehovah's Witness people. Linked in my journal how I handled that one. It's a pretty funny story. Um, but my package wasn't there. So I checked the shipping address online with my tracking, and it shipped to the wrong address. Um, I live in numbers that end in last two of my area code are 16, it shipped to 15. So having just spent like every penny I had saved for the last, I don't know, like three months because I was planning to buy a new BJD, but opportunity arose, I had to take it. Um, I was heartbroken. I actually broke down and started crying at work yesterday because I thought, I'm never going to see this package. This is a once-in-a-lifetime piece. Clockwork Creature doesn't release any more, like, sets. They don't do tails and ears anymore. No, i just devastated. So, my neighbor, um, the package was delivered to them. So when I got home from work, I was freaking out, like, okay, I'm just going to go to every single address that has similar numbers to me in the Ada 015 area. And I came home. There was a note, like a, like a sticky note. I don't know where I put it. Um, there was a sticky note on my door that says, Hey neighbor, your package was delivered to me. Uh, I am not you, so I didn't sign for it, so they took it back. I left the pickup slip under a pillow, because we have this cute little rocking chair with a pillow on it on our front porch. So they left the pickup packing slip right there so the wind wouldn't blow it away. 
And this morning, I'm still in my pajamas. Thank you, Dan, for this shirt. Um, this is going to be a new fursuiting shirt, so shout out to Dan. Birthday present. I absolutely adore it. Um, ran to the post office, picked this up, freaked the F out the whole way home, and here we are going to open it. So, moment of truth. If there are tears or squealing, I apologize. I will warn you in description and warning if either or happen. One thing that really bothered me about this is um, I texted a friend and he says it was probably customs that did it, but this package has been opened and my sender, I don't believe would have sent an open package, but this has been opened and repackaged. So I'm a little bit nervous to see what happened. Um, my friend says it was just customs, just double checking what's in the box and making sure it's a hundred percent safe to like come from one country to another. But I just, so many bad experiences with our post, I just don't know what to expect anymore. Okay, you know what, I'm going to tilt this down a little bit. I am wearing pants, don't worry, there's jeans under here, the shirt's just kind of large, so apologies. Oh my god! The official Clockwork Creature card is in here too. So it is packaged beautifully. It had a little bit of padding on top. Didn't need too much because it's pretty soft. In a sealed giant Ziploc bag. Um, oh my god. Oh, it's so soft. Holy shit. Pardon my language. Um, the official Clockwork Creature card. I am going to probably frame this, honestly, as lame as that sounds. Oh, I'm trying so hard not to cry. The ears are so cute. God, her work is so stunning. He Okay. Uh Sorry if my voice gets cracky. I'm trying like everything I can do to not cry right now. Oh my god. So it is fully airbrushed. I can see even in the black if I go down to the tip, it's a little bit white, which I think makes it more realistic. Um, the fur is, ooh, little piece of tape, the fur is beautiful. So soft. This tail is a lot bigger than I actually thought it would be. Um, it's really long. I'm gonna brush it out with my fursuit brush a little bit later. Um, that's actually my basement, so I don't feel like going down two flights of stairs. Okay, okay, hold on. Sorry about my messy room. Um, Ah, it touches the floor. It's the exact size Anna's is. So this is the length of the tail, um, if it's touching my belt loops. So I am on my belt loop area. It comes all the way down to here. It's loosely stuffed, so it has really good movement to it and shape. Oh my god. I have a clockwork creature piece. This is going to be by far my most prized possession. Um, I've reached out to Clockwork Creature to see um, if she opens, if she would be willing to match this tail set and make me a mask of my character. Um, of course, when she's open, I'm not like demanding that she make it right now. It's probably going to be a couple years from now. But I would love nothing more than to turn this into um, a partial suit. Ah, happiest day ever. Okay, so that is my box opening of my set. Um, I will post photos once I've like actually made myself more decent wearing everything. Oh, I should probably move this up so you can see my face again. So I'm not gonna actually put these on, but they'll sit like that. Oh, they need to be brushed, but they're so cute. Eee! Okay, um, so that is my set. That is my box opening and now I'm gonna go freak the F out and brush this out and wear it and take photos and frame my clockwork creature card of awesome so until next time um yeah that's it all right bye how do I turn this thing off oh my god I'm kidding bye